So let's have a look at how we can develop assessment and feedback using the Shobi app on our iPads. I'm going to go ahead and open the Shobi app on my device. You'll notice I've got lots of classes here already. I'm just going to go into this demo class to show you how this works. And creating classes and creating assignments is all done under the spanner. To create a new folder, I can simply tap on the spanner, choose new folder, and type in the title maybe of the subject that I might be teaching. In this case, let's do science. Tap save. And that's now created a folder where I can add work and feedback to my students. If I go into my maths one, for example, you see that I've started a new assignment just by tapping on the spanner again and going new assignment. And I've called this a math starter activity. If I go into this math starter activity, I have the option to share content to my students. In this case, I've just created a simple activity here that I might use with my students. On the student screen, you'll see that the students can equally join my class in the same way. They can tap on the plus, tap on join class, and they'll have to use the code that I supply for them to join. In this case, the student has already joined my demo class too and has access to all of those class folders. But we're going to go into the maths class and go to the math starter activity. Now the teacher is going to quickly create a new activity for the students. So I'm going to tap on the plus, go to create document, and I can choose the type of document, style of paper, etc. And it creates for me a really simple whiteboard where I can share information to the students. And you'll see this is live straight away on the student's device. If I go onto the document itself, I have a whole range of annotation tools that I can use to create something very simple for my learners. In this case, I'm just going to do a very simple starter activity. When I tap done on my screen, that's now going to create that for my students and save those annotations. So when the student taps on the document, they will see all of those annotations on their screen. And this is where we can start to interact with our students in a really quick and simple way, saving us that workload and feedback time in the classroom directly. The student can now select those feedback tools, put their answers on the page, but equally can record their voice by tapping on the audio recording, tapping on the screen, and choosing to record. Thanks for this, sir, but I did find these pretty easy maths questions. Is there anything harder I can have next time? When a student taps save, it adds that voice note. And when they tap done at the top, it shares that work back to me. On my screen, again, instantly you see a paperclip appear next to the student's name and a blue marker to say that I haven't looked at it yet. If I tap on that student's piece of work, I then see their annotated work. If I open it up, I have access to my annotations again and I can see their voice note. I can now use the pens again and I can mark their work and equally give them some feedback on their work. Great answers to this and good to know that you want some more challenging things next time, Richard. And I can save that. And again, that will send that back then to the student to show that their work has been marked. So a really quick and easy way to interact. You'll notice on the student screen now, they have a circle showing that their work has had some feedback given on it. Now that's just one example of using Shobi in a simple way. Equally, I could set a longer assignment to my students and share resources with them at the same time. By tapping on the plus, I can import documents from anywhere on my device. As long as I've got things like OneDrive or Google Drive accessible, anything on my device can be shared with the students. Or perhaps we should find something more relevant to maths. Let's go back onto my iCloud. Let's have a look for a maths problems. Let's see if we've got something on fractions, for example. You'll notice I can search anything on my device and upload it. Let's choose this fractions key stage two activity. It simply loads this onto the device and shares this directly with the student. At this point now, 
you can see on the student's device they have access to that document, in which case they can open this and look what the document is asking them to do. This is just an overview of the document. Or they can tap into the document itself and have those same annotation tools as before and directly write onto this document. This is a great way to quickly produce something for students that they can interact with, much in the same way as the worksheet that we created ad hoc at the start. This can be something, could be a simple presentation you've created for your students to allow them to interact with. When the student has done their work, I instantly can see that on my screen once they tap on done. So there we go. Simply using Shobi as a tool to share work with students but equally change the way that you give feedback to students on their work in real time.